Hey friends, Alan Lee here with Honestly Handyman Services and today I want to show you guys how to remove and replace a ceiling fan. And we got a video here from start to finish so I'm going to show you guys everything that I'm doing. First thing you want to do is remove down that, remove that pull down sconch and then uh, disconnect all your wiring. Obviously make sure your power is off before you start this project. So you're going to want to disconnect your wiring and then unhook your fan. Once you have your fan down, it's time to take an inventory of the new fan and um, assemble all the parts of the new fan. So what I like to first do is just set everything out of the box, make sure I have everything I need, and that kind of gives you a good idea of how the fan is assembled because um, there are a few different ways that fans are assembled and it kind of gives you a good idea of how this one goes together. Obviously you want to make sure which, uh, which, way, which fan blade your customer wants facing down, whether the light side or the dark side, and then you're going to be assembling your fan blades. Some fan blades come pre-assembled, but this one did not, so I'm installing all the grommets in all the screw holes of each fan blade. And then once you have that, then you're going to want to be hooking your fan blades up to the fan blade mount, and that just is attached through three screws. And some, some fans are different, so some actually clip on, uh, some screw on like this and some are a little bit different and once you get all of those fan blades hooked on their mount then it's time to hook the fan blades onto the motor and the motor comes with these little stops that you'll need to remove first just so it doesn't spin while uh, while in shipping so you remove all of those and then you're gonna go ahead and put all your screws in your fan blade mounts and then screw those onto the fan motor once you do a few of these you're going to kind of know how tight to make these screws it's not super 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 tight but obviously you don't want them loose because the fan will wobble once you get all your fan blades on I like to assemble everything before it's back on the ceiling so uh, go ahead and put on your light kit if you are using a light kit these do come with an option to not use a light kit, but in this case I am using a light kit so I'm installing that per manufacturer's recommendations. And here's the light kit going on right now. And there's usually a, a plug-in that is uh, either letter coded or color coded so you can put that on correctly. And then the, the light kit usually attaches through three screws on the side and then once you get that all in then you're gonna deal with the top side you're gonna want to first cut your wiring to the proper size and if you're not using a super long down rod I usually cut it at about 10 to 12 inches long and then you're gonna insert your just short down rod that it comes with a few inch long down rod and that screws on in this case and then it has a lock uh, screw you have to tighten up real good so it doesn't back off on itself and then once you get that done you're going to want to deal with the ceiling bracket mount and you're going to remove the old one and install your new one basically the exact same way that you took your old one down with two screws there into the fan rated junction box and once you get that up then you're ready to hang your new fan obviously put your sconce up there and then just clips right in just like a, an elbow joint up there and then once you get your fan hanging up there, uh, now hook up your wiring. And this is pretty straightforward. Um, you know, just if you only have one switch, then obviously you're going to hook both your black and your blue wire up to the black wire coming from the ceiling. If you have two switches, then you'll hook the blue wire up to either the red or the black, depending on where your switches are located. Most new homes where I'm located are come pre-wired with two switches. And then once you get your wires hooked up, then you're going to want to go ahead and screw your sconce up. Two screws on either side. And then once you get that up, I usually like installing my chains right now before I install the light coverings. It just makes it a little bit easier to get your hands in there. And then you're going to want to install your light coverings. Uh, there's a few different ways that these mount up, but this is the way that this one mounts up there. And then install your light bulbs. These are dimmable LED light bulbs that came with the fan. Now once you're done with that, you turn it on and you admire your work. Make sure everything works as it should. 
So thank you all so much for tuning in, and I hope you guys have a great day. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel.